Hi guys, it's Ben here, and after that complete and utter humiliation against Manchester City on Saturday, Liverpool need to bounce back, they need to do it fast, and they need to do it against Sevilla in the Champions League on Wednesday. So the Reds have been beaten 5-0 by Man City. I've had a couple of days to get over it, to reflect, to think about the sort of repercussions, how we can bounce back. And there kind of seems to be two camps. There kind of seems to be the, I don't mind too much, it's a freak. Uh, it doesn't really happen that often. Liverpool don't go to these places and get whacked. The red card changed it. Um, you know, we're missing some key players, it is what it is. There's the other camp which is really, really panicking. We should have brought a defender in uh, the summer. It's a disgrace. Klopp got it all wrong tactically. The substitutions were wrong. The mentality of the team's wrong from top to bottom. We're never going to finish in top four. Uh, and as, as kind of always, the correct way is to be in the middle ground there, I think, and that's kind of where I sit. Um, yes, I'm distraught that we got beat 5-0. Nobody wants to do that, especially against a rival, especially against Man City, who we're not exactly fond of. And But then again, yeah, it, it's not an orthodox situation. You don't often get such a strange red card or a, a red card in which you feel so aggrieved and surprised by, especially if it's your best player, someone who's never been sent off for Liverpool before. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's a freak game. You know, we, we didn't have Coutinho still, and not to make excuses, but, you know, Ragnar Klavan in defence, uh, Man City absolutely on top of their game, against 10 men for over, over half of the game, it, you know, again, if, if there's a team that you don't want to be with 10 men against, it is them, but then again, it, it's a disgrace that we that we folded like that, and it's, it was a dreadful performance, especially from all the defenders, doesn't fill me with much hope. Alexander Arnold played poorly. Uh, Matip and Clavin obviously didn't play well. Um, a lot of critics for Henderson and Van Aldem and, and Chan. The forwards didn't take their chances. So just a real bad day at the office. Whether we should read too much into it, I don't know. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna be very, very keen to avenge that. It goes without saying, of course, but I think Sevilla aren't gonna know what hit them on Wednesday. We know what we're like. Uh, in, at home so far this season against Hoffenheim we were absolutely scintillating uh, against Arsenal likewise so we're going to have the bit between our teeth here we're going to have to really cheer the fans up guys like Mohamed Salah wants to put that behind him he didn't have the best day Mane of all people of course um, he's not going to be playing for the next three league games unless the or the next three domestic games unless the uh, ban gets reduced so he's definitely going to be in action I would imagine against Sevilla uh, a, a lot of other players are going to want to avenge that nightmare display whether all of them are going to get the chance to I don't know um, this is also of course it's revenge on Sevilla much needed I mean they were the ones that you know, stopped us playing in the Champions League last year. We meet them in it this year. They've had a lot of changes too. They brought in the likes of Nolito, Jesus Navas, Jonathan Gies, who I think was a, you know, someone that a lot of Liverpool fans wanted us to sign. Lewis Muriel as well. So they got a decent little squad. They're going to do well this season, Sevilla, and they probably are going to be up there with us in this group. Um, so. You know, it's obviously not going to be a walk in the park. They know how to win in Europe um, and they know how to beat Liverpool. So they know how to beat open clubs in Liverpool. So, uh, look, it's by no means an easy one, but we are surely the favourites going into this, um, especially with the, with, with the determination we're going to have to put that result on Saturday right. I think, we can, I think we're going to have enough, just about enough here, uh, to, see, to see through them. I don't think Nolito is available for this one. I think he's injured. Um, as far as Liverpool are concerned, obviously Nathaniel Klein, Adam Milana uh, are still missing. But... Philip Coutinho, young club, has confirmed will be available for selection. So, will we see the return of the man that a lot of fans aren't particularly keen on? I am just going to be absolutely chuffed to see him back. Yes, of course, I'm slightly uh, annoyed about how he acted in the summer and how he tried to agitate for the move, but he's a Liverpool player. He's Liverpool's probably one of their best players, if not their best player overall. So, I want to see him back in the side. I want to see him back on the left wing, replacing Sadio Mane for the next few games whilst he serves his suspension, which he may or may not deserve. So, as far as our starting lineup is concerned, I think Loris Karras is going to play in goal. I think that's pretty much uh, the widespread uh, sort of. It's well known now that he's going to be our Champions League goalkeeper. Danny Ward's going to be our League Cup goalkeeper. Uh, some people get annoyed about this sort of stuff. Doesn't bother me, to be honest with you. Um, I'd rather in the latter stages that uh, Simon Mignolet took his place back, but uh, if Klopp wants to, if Klopp wants to give Karras another chance to prove himself, then so be it. Besides that, I think uh, Joe Gomez will come back in at right back. I'm at the point where I want to see him partner Matip at centre back, just to give it a go. He can't get any worse than Ragnar Klavan. Dejan Lovren's not start the season brilliantly, why not give Joe Gomez a chance in his preferred position? See if he can strike up a partnership with John Matip, who isn't by any means perfect himself. 
but I think Gomez will come in at right back for this one. I think Matip will partner Dejan Lovren, who will come back in. Uh, he, he obviously had to be rested after the international break. Um, no excuse for him not to play this time. And I think Andrew Robertson will get him not a left back, hasn't played in a while. Um, why not give him a go? He's played well in his only Liverpool appearance so far. Deserves to be playing in the Champions League for us. Uh, in midfield, now this is where it might get a bit difficult. I think Emre Chan will keep his place. I think Henderson will have a rest. Uh, and I think with Chan in midfield, in midfield will be Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain um, getting his first start in the middle of the park for Liverpool is where he wants to play. I don't see any reason why he shouldn't play here, uh, especially if Klopp rotates his squad and it looks like he likes to. And I think James Milner might partner him there uh, with Chan being the number six uh, with Milner and uh, Oxlade-Chamberlain pushing forward. And then... Front three, I think we're going to go with Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane, and I think Daniel Sturridge will get the nod up front, um, just to change it up a bit. Why not? Uh, Firmino will play on Saturday, um, and then we should we should look to bring in Solanke for, for the League Cup. So that's my 11, and I think that 11 is better than Sevilla's 11. I think that we'll be enough to see them off um, by no means a walk in the park. But this is crucial. This really is. We need to we need to regain some momentum. As long as you take a when you take a battering like that five 0 for Man City, you need to win your next two. I think to really put that behind you. I think you need to win your next two domestically. Uh, I do think we it's it, we need to be Burnley, of course, to keep ourselves at, at, among the, the top four. Uh, I think that will see us back into the top four. But I think we need to beat Leicester two. So just to sort of put this whole thing behind us, to forget about the defensive woes, to forget about the fact that we should have signed a centre-back. It still baffles me that we didn't sign a single centre-back. We let Lucas Leiva go. I knew Mohamed Sacco's career was over at Liverpool, but we let him go too. And, you know, I'd have rather kept him. Uh, something that I've sort of dismissed for a long time, but I'd have rather kept him than end up with Ragnar Klavan as our third choice. Um, you see the likes of Harry Maguire, who I wasn't enthralled about us being linked with, but... That was obviously when I thought we were linked with Van Dijk as well. So if you'd have asked me a couple of weeks ago, would I, would I have taken Maguire? Or, or, or nobody, of course, when I said Maguire, obviously he joined Leicester early on in the summer, but the same goes for quite a lot of other players. I mean, Michael Keane, I don't really want to be jealous of an Everton signing, and I don't think Michael Keane is necessarily, necessarily the answer, but he's better than what we've got in terms of Ragnar Club, and is he better than Lovren? Ugh, probably isn't much in it. But there are a lot of centre-backs. I mean, Johnny Evans was another one that was linked to the likes of Arsenal, Man City, should we assign him maybe? But look, we go into this game with with a with a with a back four that we've got. That's that's how it is. I mean, my score prediction. I think I think we're going to win this game two one. I think it's not going to be easy, but I think we'll have enough. Um, I think we're going to come out of the blocks really really fast. We need to. These guys, I just want to want to put Salah behind them. So I'm going to go for a two one win. I'm going to pick Mane and Salah to both score. Leave a comment with your predictions for this game. I'm kind of half nervous and half just anxious to get it over with, get it here, get the City game behind us as I keep saying. Leave a comment with your score predictions. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of the sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me and follow my other socials too. It's Ben Like Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. See you next time.